We've been talking about a well-known person you like or admire, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider, first of all, famous people in your country. So in Singapore, what sorts of people become famous? Mainly politicians, prominent businessmen, and um, a growing number of television celebrities. Any film celebrities? There are not too many film celebrities because the film industry in Singapore is still growing. There is a producer who, who has been involved in the production of quite a few comedies. His name is Jack Neo and he is quite famous in Singapore. Mm. Now, what about in the past? Would you say that the kinds of people famous in the past are different? I think there is a lot, there is a growing number of TV, television celebrities, mainly because the television industry has sort of matured in Singapore. But other than that, I think it's pretty much the same. And what about in the future? Can you make any predictions on who might be famous in the future? I think successful young business people would be more famous in the future, mainly because they give the youth of today something to aspire towards. And they basically send out a message that it's not just the older generation that can achieve in terms of business success, but that younger generations can aspire towards that as well. Now let's talk about celebrity culture. Um, often famous people are used in advertising. Can you give me some examples of that? Um, famous people being used in advertising, I think one example that comes to mind is cele uh, celebrities being used to promote charitable causes. Um, and I think basically <laughs> Because celebrities have reached a certain status in society whereby people aspire towards reaching celebrity status, when you have celebrities endorsing a cause, it's, it's basically saying that I, I, I am so and so and I approve this and in that way I think the general population aspire towards that and they feel more comfortable for example, donating to that cause. Do you think it might be a bit dangerous having a celebrity endorse a cause if, for example, that celebrity behaves in a manner which the cause does not agree with? I think it could potentially be harmful. Um, and it's not necessarily for causes. I think it's, it's also for celebrity behaviours because a lot of the youth of today try to emulate celebrities. They may not be aware of the repercussions of certain acts that they commit. So what about those negative repercussions? What, what kind of possible nev negative effects might happen to youth due to their um, ad admiration of famous people? I think with a lot of the youth of today, especially young females, they may idolize certain celebrities and they become very conscious of their body image and that may not necessarily be very healthy. Do you think that affects males equally? I think it does affect males to a certain extent, but not on the same level that it would affect females because I think a lot of young females are more conscious of their body image than a lot of young males are. What kind of negative effects would boys have? I think with, for example, with the, uh, with the young female population, I think a lot of them would be susceptible to maybe things like anorexia and bulimia, whereas with, with boys it's not so prevalent but it could still happen. How about uh, influencing public opinion? How might famous people be used to influence public opinion? I think they could be used to affect, to affect public opinion positively. Um, for example, you've got Bono who um, is, is all for HIV and AIDS awareness. I think he's done something very positive for AIDS awareness on a global level. Can you think of any negative ways they might influence public opinion? I, I can't think of any negative ways at this point. <laughs>